This is a quick video to show you how to input a clear form button. I've got a template here that we use to find areas under the standard normal distribution. If you'd like to see that playlist, click on the link that's showing. Um, let me put some input in and I'll show you how the button works. So once all the input is in, if I want to clear the form and start working on a different problem, I can simply hit clear input. And it will tell me that the form has been cleared. How do we do this? I'm going to put in another button to show you how it works. Under the developer tab, insert. Under ActiveX controls, select button. And I'm just going to trace out an area to put this button. By double clicking it, it will bring up another menu where we can see the text. So I've already done this, but I will, let me delete this out. Your menu will look something like this, and the code that you need to put in looks like this. Simply pause if you need to examine the code. Let me window over, and you can see how it works. So I put in sheets, the name of the sheet, and then dot range, and in parentheses I'm naming cells. So I want it to clear out the cell C3 and also the cell E6 and 7, etc. Now by pasting this into the second button's code, you won't need two, you will only need one. And closing out of this menu. If I click on the button now, nothing will happen. It'll bring up this menu because I'm in design mode. Uh, while I'm in design mode, I could right click and click on command button object edit, and I can type the name in. And once I get out of design mode, now the button will work as it should if I click clear and put two. Form is cleared. OK. If we go back into design mode, we can look at the code again. The message box form cleared is what generates that message that you've done what you've tried to do. And in design mode, I can simply right click and cut this so that my form is left as it was in the beginning. Thanks for watching and I hope that this helped.